everybody welcome back to my channel and if you haven't been here before make sure you subscribe if you like the content so as you may know i am in a few fandoms one of those being stranger things not as prominent in it as i was when i was younger but still in it but I've always had one problem with one character. Is this hooked up right? Hold on. There we go. Um, I've always had one problem with one character. Max Mayfield. Now, I'm going to preface this by saying in the second season, when like she originally came and like her character was first introduced, I thought she was fine. You know, she was a little annoying. She was kind of a bitch, but like, you know, we all are. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't, I really didn't have any problem with her. But then the third season came around. Then the third season came around, and she just turned into a fucking asshole and a toxic, abusive person. And, like, everyone, like, just, like, looks at Mike and, and is, and is, like, <laughs> everyone looks at Mike and they're just, like, yep, he... He's the bad character in this case. Like, he's the character that kind of sucks this season. Literally, he wasn't, though. He was the only one trying... He was trying to protect Elle when all Max wanted to do was, like, go shopping with her. All he was trying to do was make it up to Elle. And Max was always just like, well, um... You don't have to. And make sure you are constantly breaking up and getting back together again. And the only thing that he can do to, you know, get back together with you is buy you something. Which is pretty abusive if, if you ask me. Sorry. I have two doors. As you see, that's my closet door and that's the door in here. And, like, I, whenever I'm filming, I think that my door is open, which I don't like. But anyways. <laughs> but, like, yeah. Everybody just is, everybody just play, blames everything on Mike. When like Max is the one that like was the terrible character that ended up just being awful, and like yeah, Mike was a snarky bitch. Max was fucking abusive. What do you mean? Max was extremely manipulative. If you weigh the pros and cons, and like, I, there's nothing I hate more than the Max and Eleven ships, because Eleven, like, she just needs to be by herself for now. She doesn't need a love interest, like, she never did, okay? Like, that was never something that she needed. What she needed and what she still needs is to be by herself, obviously still having, like, a guardian. But everyone she's, like, everyone who's, like, like, been with her and, like, parented her. Their identity was just, like, copied onto her. And they never gave her a chance to be herself. And Max was definitely one of those. And she pushed it on her hard. And, like, Mike, like, in the f first season, he was just, like, be brave, be a little annoying, be a little dramatic. But, like, he wasn't teaching her these things. She picked it up from him because she he was the one that she cared about the most. And... In the second season, she picked up most of it, most of her identity from Hopper, being more angry and more aggressive, which is 
which is traits we see in Hopper. I hear someone, and I'm home alone, so that's not good. And in the third season, but like, her, Hopper wasn't pushing his identity onto her. That was just him being himself and trying to protect her. But in the third season, you wanna know what Max did? She wanted to go to the mall. And she was like, you have to do this. She didn't give her a chance. She didn't let Eleven have a chance to do whatever she wanted to do. She was just like, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna do it and you're gonna be like me. In, like the third season of Stranger Things is I think we can all agree the worst season so far and it's they kind of turned it into a Riverdale which like we already had Riverdale we don't need another one we didn't need the first one and, and it's just like bro stop with the romantics just have it be like a normal well not normal have it be a show for everyone stop trying to make it a teen show stop trying to make it riverdale and one of the main things that that i can't speak when one of the main things that made it like a teen show is max which I blame Max Mayfield for being, for the reason that the third season of Stranger Things is the worst season. In my opinion, the second season is the best season. In my opinion. I just, that's just my opinion, but. Anyways. But, yeah. Don't get me wrong, like, she has some good qualities, and, like, Mike definitely fucked up in some, like, realms. But at the end of the day, it was her fault. At the end of, well, at the end of the day, it wasn't Mike's fault. And at the end of the day, Max was pushing Elle and Mike into an abusive, manipulative relationship. Which she has already, which Max has already made with lucas and she's like you like people want to talk all the time how mike was was like it's such a bad character and he's such a bad character but they treat they treat max like a goddess and it's like bro she did this she did this she did this sweetie i think you got it mixed up like that, no. Um, so yeah, that is my opinion on Max Mayfield. And it was more, this was more of a rant than anything. But I just like, it like makes me, it makes me so mad when people are like, she is like the best. I'm like, shut up, shut up. And it's like, and like, what I said out, er, earlier with like the Max and Eleven ships, I know some people are going to be like, well, you just don't like the fact that they're a woman and a woman. That's not why I... making sure no fire is on I'm gay <laughs> need to check if anyone was home but yeah I am pansexual I have had girl and girl relationships I have had girl and man relationships but technically that's not true since I'm neither male female or other or I am female, male, and other. It's really complicated. I don't understand it. But, like, 
it's not my problem with a female being with a female. It's my problem is a female being with a toxic female and this specific female being with anyone at all. And in my opinion, yeah, Max kind of gives off bi vibes. So does Mike, in my opinion. And Will gives off gay vibes. And yeah, that's... So I don't care it, what their sexuality is. You can speculate on these people's sexuality because they aren't people. They're characters. And if you're going to go ahead and say, well, they're... they're well, they're like kids, so you can't do that. Sexuality is not sexual. Get that, let me just get that straight. Sexuality is not sexual. Um, I am pansexual. I like everyone, regardless of gender. I am a virgin. And I probably will be for a long time. I hate the idea of sex. It does not appeal to me at all. So, yeah. Sexuality isn't sexual. And if you're going to go ahead and say that sexuality is sexual, then assuming that they're straight would be sexualizing them. Sexualizing minors is videos where people are, like, I mean, like, fan fiction where where the it kid wait <laughs> sexuality minors is like what stephen king did in that part of the book of it and we all know what i'm talking about if you're an it stan or even a stranger things stan or just know anything about it in general we all know what i'm talking about so don't try to play that card, because one, I'm a minor, and two, I've been sexualized, so I kind of know what it is. But yeah, that was my opinions on Max Mayfield, and how people have been getting it wrong since, the, since season three of Stranger Things released. So yeah, my back hurts now, and I need to do laundry. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it, and if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. Uh, yeah, just have a good day, and just, yeah, leave your opinions in the comments if you want to. So yeah, that's all for today. And it'll probably be all for the past three months because I'm not really good at this YouTube thing. But, um, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Bye.